I love the smell of oil paint in the morning. It gets me going because painting is the focus of my life. And I want to instill in you the love of painting. Now, today I want to talk about what exactly is alla prima painting? Well, technically, alla prima is painting wet into wet all in one shot. Now, usually a painting will take two to three hours. That's if everything goes well. Now, not every painting is going to be a success. Maybe one out of 10, maybe one out of 20 will be decent. Maybe one out of 50 will be a keeper. And one out of 100 will be an absolute jewel. That is the commonality. Now, even Rembrandt had his fair share of dogs. And he just simply scraped out and begun anew. I mean, canvas is expensive. Lead prime takes time to do. And so when a painting goes to the dogs, you scrape it down and start over again. That is the creative process. Now, painting alla prima is painting with an economy of means. You want to strike a shape succinctly with a single fell swoop of the brush stroke. It's also painting with a sculptural sensibility. It's like painting with clay. You're picking up a piece of clay and you're slapping it onto the canvas and you're pushing it around, fitting it into shape, but you don't blend. Now, blending is a really, really bad term simply because it's destructive of form. I much prefer knitting. Knitting is joining the forms. And, to, and you're paying particular attention to your edges. We have soft edges as the form turns. We have hard edges. And then we have those intermediate edges. Those are the tricky ones. And I find the most effective way to deal with those intermediate edges is through cross-hatching. A series of strokes in one direction and overlapping those again in another direction. Basically any direction except 90 degree angles. In the learning process, it's highly unlikely you're going to be able to knock off an alla prima portrait in two or three hours. It might take you eight hours. It might take you two days. That's okay. With practice and the more information that you acquire and the greater your skill level, that time will decrease incrementally. Now, the beauty of Ella Prima painting is its freshness. A good Ella Prima portrait is as fresh as hot biscuits, straight out of the oven. And they'll stay fresh for hundreds and hundreds of years. Now, this one go with studio painting? Does one to just focus on alla prima? Well, of course not. Of course not. They feed off of each other. It's in the long studio paintings that we really develop our drawing skills, our sense of striking shape, our sense of manipulating form. With alla prima painting, we learn to loosen up. In other words, we learn to, well, let the paint be paint. Don't force it into being something that it's not, like a photograph. Now, having said that, there are really two modes of realist painting. There is the painterly, letting the paint be paint, rejoicing in the body of oil paint, rejoicing in its intrinsic beauty. And then there's the illustrative, which is a copying of the forms. 
I'm not a great fan of the Illustrator. It kind of, well, it deadens the paint. I mean, it's, you're just pressing it. You're putting the oil paint into chains. And, and by developing the skills of Ella Prima, you'll be able to take that looseness, that directness, that economy of means into your studio painting. Why do we copy masterworks? Well, photography is one visual language. Painting is another distinct language. Okay? You, you cannot learn French by reading Russian. It, it simply does not work. By copying master artists, that's where we learn the language of painting. We learn how to deal with the underplane of the nose. We learn to deal with the cheeks. And we, and very importantly, we learn brushwork. That's our abstract structural surface. Now, beginning with Rembrandt, the focus is on value spotting. Value spotting is laying small pieces of color next to each other. Again, getting back to this modeling in clay, we're taking a piece of color, we're slapping it on, take another piece of color, we slap it next to it, and next to it, and next to it, and then need be, we knit the forms together. We join them up. But as we progress into the lights, knitting is less and less. You want your brush stroke, you want your brush strokes to shimmer. You know, rejoice in it. Rejoice in that your brush strokes. Be bold, be free. Don't take any prisoners. Kill them all. Hmm. I really gotta cut back on my Netflix. But I think you get my point. Rembrandt Laughing is on sale now. It's my introductory special. And it's only $67, where its regular price is $149.95. But I have to end this on Thursday, May 7th, at midnight, Pacific Standard Time. The early bird gets the Rembrandt.